Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video, I will show you how to migrate your own premises database to Azure using DMS. DMS means database migration service. Now in the first video, we already performed step one and step two and we found that there is no compatibility issue to migrate our adventure work LT database into the Azure. So let's go to the portal and here inside that portal type database migration service. So right now I do not have any service. Click here. And create the migration service. So I select the data migration resource group, give the service name. So db dms i go with the same location i am not going to change any pricing tier right now go to the network setting and here you can select your virtual network go to next go to review and create and click create. So now my deployment is started. Let's wait. So now the deployment is complete. Go to resource. Now here you can say great job your database migration service was successfully created. Now here you can click new migration project and give the project name. So let me copy the database name. Here my source type is SQL Server and my target server type is Azure SQL Database. And here you have three options, schema only migration, data migration or only you have to create the project. So I am going to only create the project first and create. After that, so again, you can go to the Azure DMS and here you can see your project is created. Select the project and here you have to click the new activity. So select the new activity and here you have two options, data migration or schema only migration. So for any migration, first we need to migrate the schema. And after that, we need to migrate the data. So go with the schema only migration and give your source server name. So here my source server name is my local server. So I'm going to select. So for that, for your local server, you have to go to the virtual machine and you have to take the IP address here I go with the Windows authentication and give the username so my username is SQL admin and give the password. And select next. So now my source server is selected. Now here we need to select the target server. 
So give the target server name. So again, you have to go to the home SQL server and my target server name is DB migration database dot windows dot net. Give the username and password. Select next. Okay, so here there is an error. Client is not allowed to access the server due to firewall. Let's configure the firewall. And I want to select yes and save. Again, let me try to connect. So here my source database is Adventure Work LT 2017. And here I have to select the target database. So let me create my target database. Give the name. Review and create. Deployment is completed. Go to resource. And here again, let's refresh the database. So click previous and click next. Select the database and select the target database. Adventure work LT 2017 underscore DMS. Now before that, let me connect this database. So inside the database folder, select the adventure work LT 2017 underscore DMS. Now here you can see right now I do not have any schema. So let's migrate first schema. Go to next. And start migration. So now the migration is started. Let's wait. Now the schema migration is completed. Go to SQL Server and quickly check. Now here, the schema is migrated successfully. But if I run the select statement, you can see the data is not migrated. So let's migrate the data. Again, go to the project. And inside the project, click the new activity and select the data migration. Now inside the data migration, my source server is same. Select the database. Click next. This is my target server. Click next. Select the target database. Click next. Select the tables. So I go with all the tables. Click next, give the name, and start migration. So here you can see it's an offline data migration activity. So start migration. So here you can see right now the status is initializing. Now here you can see the all the status. So this build version is completed. Customer is completed. Address is completed. Now only these two table are pending. Now all the tables is completed. Check the status is completed. Go to the migration project again and refresh. Now you can see here the data migration as well as the schema migration is completed. Let's validate the data. Now all the data is also migrated. So you thank you very much. See you in the next video.